Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the um, 9J assignment. All right, so we'll start with number three. Each of the following quadratic functions find um, the axes intercepts, equation of the axis of symmetry, the coordinates of the vertex, and sketch the graph. Okay, so for A here, axes intercepts. So if we're going to try to find the um, x axis, the x-intercepts, we're going to set y equal to 0. So 0 equals x squared minus 2x minus 8. So we need to factor those out. Factors of 8 that have a difference of 2. It's not 1 and 8, but it is 2 and 4, right? So we got x and x, 2 and 4. Um, these have to add up to negative 2, so that would have to be negative 4 and positive 2. So x intercepts are going to be at x equals negative 2 and at positive 4 because that's what makes these equal to 0. All right? Um, y intercepts is going to be when x is 0. So that's 0, that's 0, it's going to be negative 8. Okay, so let's start graphing those. So we've got negative 8 is our y intercept. x intercept is at negative 2 and positive 4. All right, so that means halfway in between those is going to be what at 1 here. So that means 1 is going to have that at x equals 1 is the axis of symmetry, which is part 2 of this. AOS is x equals 1. Part 3, coordinates of the vertex is going to be, let's see, we know that the x-coordinate is here at 1, so to find the y-coordinate, we got to plug it in. So y equals, we've got 1 squared minus 2 times 1 minus 8, right? So y is going to equal 1 minus 2 minus 8. So the y, the y-coordinate of the vertex so let's put y equals uh, is negative 9. So vertex is at 1, negative 9. So there's 1, negative 9 is right here. So then we can, we know that that's going to mirror, uh, reflect right across that axis of symmetry. So then here's going to be our 2, not our 2, but our, um, our equation here. I'm going to try to draw, draw down, see if I can get that to work better. Oh, there we go. Oh, went a, little, went a little stray over there. Worse. We can get it. There it is. Got it. Okay, so there's the uh, sketch of our graph. Okay, uh, B, axis of symmetry. So, sorry, the x, x intercepts. X intercepts and y intercepts. So, if we look for the x intercept, we've got 0 equals x squared plus 3x. Now, Look, you can factor an x out of both of these, right? So if you divide that by x, you are left with x. Divide that by x, and you're left with a 3. So x intercepts are at x equals 0 and negative 3. So we got 0 and negative 3 are the two x-intercepts. Um, Y-intercept is going to be whatever this number out here is, which is 0. So the y-intercept is at 0. So that's going to, oh, there it is right there. OK, and then, so that's part 1. Part 2, the uh, equation of the axis of symmetry here is going to be halfway in between those. So that's going to be right here at negative 1 and a half, right? And again, just pretend that this is a straight line that I'm drawing. Oh, man, that's not even close, but you get the idea. Okay, so axis of symmetry is x equals negative 1 and a half. So then if I'm looking for the coordinates of the vertex, i got to plug negative 1 and a half into this to see what I get for my, z my y. Okay, so y equals negative 1.5 squared plus 3 times negative 1.5. So let's see, negative 1.5 squared is going to be, what, 2.25, I think? Let's just double check. 
negative 1.5 squared. Oops, I'm, if I'm going to do this the correct way, I need to put it in parentheses. Negative 1.5 squared gives us 2.25. Okay, so this is y equals 2.25, and then 3 times negative 1 and a half is negative 4 and a half. So if I take 4.5 and subtract 2.25, I get 2.25. Y intercept, not Y intercept, but the Y value of the um, uh, vertex is going to be at 2.2, oh, negative 2.25, right? Right, because 2.25 minus 4.5 is negative 2.25. Okay, so vertex is at negative 1.5 and negative 2.25. Right, so we got negative 1.5 and negative 2.25 is roughly right there. Okay, so then we would then sketch our graph, make it look something like that, and we are good to go. Okay, all right, let's do some more. Let's do C and then F here. So for each of the following, fine, same thing. So if we're looking for the X intercept, we got Y equals zero. So we got zero equals four X minus X squared. So you can, we can get an x out of both of those, right? So we get 0 equals x times 4 minus x, okay? So that means our x intercepts are going to be when x equals 0 or 4 minus 4 would also give us 0. So we're at 0 and 4 are the two x intercepts. Um, y intercept is going to be whatever the constant is out here that's plus zero so y intercept is at zero which is again right there okay uh, equation of the axis of symmetry is going to be halfway between four and zero which is going to be at two right so that's going to be right down here so let's see this was part one this is part two and it's going to be axis of symmetry again it's always an equation so it's x equals 2 okay and then to find the vertex we're going to plug 2 into this equation right to get our y coordinate because we know the x coordinate is 2 now we just find the y coordinate so we do y equals 4 times 2 minus 2 squared okay so that gives us y equals 8 minus 4 so y equals 4, so that means that the vertex is going to be at x is 2 and y is 4. So we're at 2, 4, there's our, there's our vertex. Okay, and that means it ends up looking something like that for our graph. Okay, <clears throat> and you can tell, we know for sure that it's going down because the squared term is a negative, so that means it's going to open down. Okay. Okay. All right, let's try F here. Okay, so we're looking for the X intercept, which means the uh, Y is zero. So we got zero equals negative X squared plus two X minus one. Okay, now when we go to factor this, I just really don't like factoring with negative X squared. So I'm gonna multiply this whole thing by negative one. All right, so I'm going to multiply everything by negative 1, so it's going to be 0 equals negative times a negative is positive x squared. Negative times a positive is negative 2x, and a negative times a negative is plus 1. This is just going to be nicer to factor with. So 0 is going to equal. What are the factors of 1 that add up to 2? Well, factors of 1 that add up to 2 are 1 and 1. Those are only factors of 1. And if it adds, has to add up to negative 2, it's x minus 1, x minus 1. So x intercepts are at 1, right, because 1 minus 1 and 1 minus 1. So since there's a double, 1 is the x-intercept, that means it's just going to bounce. It just touches that right here. So it's going to either do this and go up or hit there and go down. Since it's negative x squared, it's going to end up going down somehow. 
Okay, and we can figure out a little bit better what that's going to look like by finding the y-intercept. So y-intercept is going to be that zero, that zero, and we get negative, nah. Um, and y-intercept is going to be negative one. Okay, okay, so there's our y-intercepts at negative one. Okay, so we now know that since it just touches right there, our axis of symmetry is going to be at x equals this one right here, right? There's our axis of symmetry, x equals 1. So we also know that this has got a point right there, right? Um, we could go through here and do all of our rigmarole to figure out what the vertex is, but we, since it touches right here, we know that that's the vertex. So vertex is at 1 and 0, right? Right there, 1, 0. And then last part is to sketch our graph. So it's just going to go like that and like that. All right? Okay. Last two parts of number three. Okay, so it's the same directions as the earlier ones. So we've got um, first part here is the axes intercept. So I'm going to do zero equals two x squared minus five x minus twelve. Uh, there's nothing we can factor out of all of those, so we're going to have to um, go through and factor this thing. Um, it does not have a leading coefficient of one, so it makes the this factoring a little bit trickier. But that's all right. We're we're getting good at this. So we go two times twelve is twenty-four, right? So we got twenty-four. We want to find the factors of twenty-four that have a difference of five. It's not one and twenty-four. It's not two and twelve. Three and eight do have a difference of five. So those are going to be our factors. So we're going to write this as zero equals. 2x squared and the negative 12 come down and now we're going to write the negative 5x as a 3x and an 8x. Since that's got to be negative 5, it's got to be negative 8 plus 3 gives us our negative 5. Right? And then now we group the first two and the last two, add those two together and we got to factor out of each one of those. So this one we get an x out of both of those. So we've got x times 2x plus 3. And on this one here, since it starts with a negative out here in the very beginning, we got to factor a negative out for sure. And then 8 and 12 both have a factor of 4. So it's going to be, we're going to factor a negative 4 out of both of those. And we get 2x plus 3. And this all equals 0, right? So this is good. The 2x plus 3s match. So we get 0 equals, um, sorry, let me back up here. We got 2x plus 3. 3 is one of them, that's those, and then the leftover parts are x minus 4. Okay, so the x intercepts are going to be at x equals, we got this, the opposite of positive 3 is negative 3 divided by 2, and the other one is 4 minus 4 gives us 0. So that's negative 1 and a half, and also here at 4. Okay, all right, now to find the y-intercept, that's just going to be this negative 12 here, right? So y-intercept is at negative 12. So again, it's going to be down here. We can't quite see it, so I'm just going to put it right down there. Okay, um, let's see. Now we need to find the axis of symmetry. So we're not going to do that one. Let's see, so we'll do I, I, axis part two. Uh, axis of symmetry, so that's going to be halfway between negative one and a half and four. So really, it's negative one and a half and four. We just want to find the average of those. So we just do one and a half, negative one and a half plus four over two. So that's what two and a half, right? Yeah, four. Yeah, that'd be two and a half over two, which gives us one point two five is the axis of symmetry. So it's x. A O S is X equals 1.25. So, again, forgive me, but it's going to be right in here somewhere, right at 1.25. All right, 
And then coordinates of the vertex. We know that the x coordinate of the vertex is 1.25, so to find the y coordinate, we plug it in. y equals 2 times 1.25 squared minus 5 times 1.25 um, minus 12. Let's break our calculator out for that one. Okay, so 2 times 1.25 squared minus 5 times 1.25 minus 12. Gives us negative 15.125. So y equals negative 15.125. So again, can't quite see that one down there. It's going to be down there-ish. Okay, and then this one's going to mirror image over across here. So it's going to be, it's really going to be way down below there. And it's going to come up, go through there. It's going to be way down there and come up and go through like so. Okay, okay, that is the 9J assignment. If you have have any further questions, please feel free to ask in class. Thanks.